some of our flowers never stopped all winter like this sturdy calendula. But there are definitely the first signs around our farm that spring is on its way. Like the first primrose flowers, the daffodils coming up, the winter viburnum coming to full bloom, the winter rhododendron showing its first pink flowers, hazel and willow pushing out their first buds and catkins. There are even some sunny corners where the grass is growing again. I make sure the rabbits and guinea pigs get their share every day. Hello guys, I picked you some fresh grass. Anybody like some? There are Violet and her daughter Frosty. Since I filmed these clips, Violet had another lot of babies, all well and busy. Kiwi the guinea pig dad lives in another cage with his son Blackberry. Then there is Cloudy the doe. She's in her separate cage until she's settled in. Alex also spent some time in his own cage as he had a small infected injury and I thought he'd better be given his own quiet space until it healed. So Oreo has the run all to himself at the moment. Of course he loves it but would even more enjoy chasing Alex around a bit. Some of you are impatiently waiting for news from Eeyore, our pregnant donkey. Well, she is taking her time. Donkeys can be pregnant between 10 and 14 months. So we are on month number three now of this time frame. She loves the extra cuddles she is given every day. Good for her. Soon she will be busy enough. They have an opinion about everything, don't they? They are saying. In the meantime, yes. looks like Gordon is reluctantly taking some parenting advice from Henry. But he has his response to that. I love it when in winter the broadleaf trees reveal their true shape and now that all leaves are gone you can really see the wonderful twists and bends of their branches against the clear winter sky. It's not all that calm here mostly and we had a couple of hefty storms pass through already. We are still out and about doing the feeding chores of course. You don't have to come with me. Time to check on the riding arena fence. It is holding up well so far. <laughs> did you go through me? Did you forget to take your clothes off? <laughs> I did some YouTube filming in the rain. Uh, it's hard work. It's hard job. It's hard work. Yes. <laughs> Henry loves a good roll in the wood chips, but he also enjoys the soft bounciness of them for stretching his legs.
He even gets carried away to try the odd jump. But what he really loves best is pulling things like our sled. And he's helping bring some fence posts down to our new woodland area. And was super keen to help bring some firewood back into the yard. Dogs keep themselves busy in their own way. Turnip still loves chewing things. Old trimmed hoof, drills, you name it. He follows Trudy around and tries to figure out what he can learn from her. But the biggest development for him is his budding friendship with Sean the Sheep. Sean just loves him. and so much yearns to join in with Turnips and Trudy's chase game. He just finds it so hard to figure out how to play it. doesn't give up though. It is very sweet to see how Turnip tries to give him a private lesson. Sean, keep going, you have the potential and you will get there in the end. <laughs> 